welcome to Make It Monday. In these videos, I'm gonna show you how to do a very simple craft that is uh, doable by, with any skill level, any age, um, with some things that you hopefully will find around your house. So, let's get crafting. Well, today we're gonna to make these really cute origami hearts, which you can then um, put on some string and you can hang them up in a space and make bunting. And they're really simple once you get to know some of the folds. So all you need is a couple of pieces of paper, um, square paper, coloured paper. If you haven't got coloured paper, you could colour it in. Um, and some wool. That is all you need. No glue, no scissors. It's very simple. Okay, so I've cut my um, paper into squares of um, nine centimeters square, but they could be done with any size square as long as it is square. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half. And I'll show you how to do it twice, um, but don't worry, you can re-watch the video if you are a bit confuzzled and then we're going to unfold it and I'm going to turn it round so I'm going to rotate the paper and then fold it in half again okay and I'm going to unfold it now I'm going to get this bottom edge to meet this middle point and I'm gonna turn the paper over. So next fold we're gonna do is for this edge just here to meet this middle edge just on this side. So we're creating a triangle shape. And that is the bottom of our heart. And we're gonna do the same on this side. So we've now got a V shape. So I'm gonna turn the paper again. So this is the side, you've got a little flap here and a flat edge. And we're gonna move this um, side edge to the middle. And I'd like to turn it um, so it's closest to me so that I can get the straight edges to meet at the top. And then I'm going to turn it round and do the same on the other side. Okay. So I've got two really good creases. And now I'm going to take this point here and bring it to this point in the middle. So this top edge comes to the middle line and we create another triangle flap. And do the same on the other side. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit complicated. What we're gonna do is about half a centimeter from this point here, I'm gonna pinch slightly and bring the whole thing downwards and it will bring out these little flaps. And with my thumb, I'm going to press down on the flat edges to make them crease. And we're left with these bits poking up. And we're gonna just insert my finger and I'm gonna flatten those. And if you need to, you can re-bend the, the folds if it's not in the place that you want it. And now, the last fold we're gonna do is this corner here is going to, or uh, this edge is gonna fold down to this edge. And you might need to lift it off the table to do that. 
so you've created another small triangle. And do the same on the other side. So when you turn it over, you've created a heart. And now to get it onto your string, I'm gonna insert the string, um, make sure it's in the back, and insert the, the string there, and then we're gonna poke this, this edge into that flap that we created earlier. And there you have it. You have created a heart that goes on some string. Let's do that again. So, got my square, and I'm gonna fold it in half. Making sure that I get it in half properly. And then I'm gonna unfold it and turn it round so that, that what was a horizontal fold is now a vertical fold. And I'm going to do the same again. So I'm gonna fold it in half and the crease and then unfold it and I'm going to have this bottom line meet the middle line okay now we're going to turn it over and this bottom line is going to meet this middle line do the same on the other side. Now we're going to turn that over and this side edge is going to come to the middle. So that those top edges meet and we'll crease down the side and we'll do the same on the other side don't worry if they don't quite meet up because that will be inside the heart now we're going to turn this corner to meet the middle. To create a triangle flap. And do the same on the other side. Then, about half a centimetre down from the side um, line, edge, we're going to pinch with our thumbs and fold that triangle flap down and then pinch the straight lines and then flatten these pointy bits and they create the inside uh, if, if you turn it round, they're the inside of that heart shape. And then we're going to flatten this edge here and create another little mini triangle. And then turn it over and you've created a heart. And I'm going to take my bit of wool I'm going to um, just make sure that I've done it on the wrong right side. Um, so I can turn those over. And I'm going to place the wall on the inside of that flap and then insert the pointy end. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it more secure, you could take that down, but I don't think it really needs it unless you're going to swing it around, um, which I don't really recommend. Um, 
yeah and you just keep going until you've got as many hearts as you want and you could um, decorate any space you could put it on the mantelpiece you could put it in the window to um, brighten up your passers-by's days instead of having a rainbow in the window you could have a rainbow of hearts so that is our very simple origami hearts I hope you've enjoyed that I'll be back next week for another craft stay safe and see you soon bye